What's up everybody, JC again uh, from Cook's Cards. Wanted to make a video for you guys. I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, I had some mail come in today and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna uh, open this up as soon as uh, possible. So I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, let you know what uh, what's in this box. But I wanted to do a box opening of 2018 Topps Archives. The uh, archives set has always interested me. They um, they put together a great mix of three different eras of cards. In this set alone, they're doing 1959, 1977, and 1981 design uh, with 100 cards in the base set. And uh, there's also two autographs per um, per box, which we're looking forward to getting as well. Um, obviously, the cards that we are looking to acquire in these sets are Ronald Acuna Jr. and Juan Soto. Um, obviously, they're the two big rookies from 2018. Um, love to pull both of them. I would be happy with one, uh, but we'll see if we can pull a couple of them and see what autographs we get. But I picked this box up on eBay. I uh, got it for around $85 after the eBay special where you can get 5 to $10 off based on the amount of money that you spend. That uh, special ended on April 8th. I hope you guys took advantage of it. But um, I actually got it just delivered today, so we're going to rip right into it and see what we can get. So I um, hope everyone's doing well on this uh, afternoon. But I am excited to open this. This is a product that I have been wanting to look at. It's still very affordable considering the talent that is in this box potentially and uh obviously uh 2018 was a great year for uh the rookies especially acuna and soto and the fact that we get two autographs in the box that interested me as well and the sandlot inserts which are really cool sandlot just celebrated its anniversary uh recently um, that also is a big plus for me because that's one of my favorite all-time baseball movies. So, all right, so let's get into this and let's start ripping. So I hope everyone, like I said, is doing well. I appreciate all the support on the channel. If you guys like what you see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe because I'll be con continuing to do box openings, um, uh, my opinions on the card market, stuff like that. So I look forward to t sharing more stuff with you in the future. So... Start off with a nice Aaron Judge from the 1959 design, Manny Margot, Sean Manaya, David Ortiz, Zach Cozart. Got to turn back the clock for Willie McCovey. There's a Mike Trout. Boy, that's a beautiful card, 1981 design. Um, I personally have the entire 1981 set that I collected uh, when I was, at the time, 14 years old. Still have that set. Have all the cards in binders. Um, haven't done anything with them. Haven't touched them. They're all still in great shape. So Mike Trout, excellent card there. I love that Mike Trout. We'll put that aside. And then we got Jose Ramirez. All right, next pack. These cards are in beautiful shape, too. I love the quality. They look great. Jamison Talon, Paul DeYoung, Phil Rizzuto. Look at that card. There's a Dave Winfield 1977 design for Dave Winfield. And the Topps Rookie History. Boy, I wish I had this card. Oh, my God. This would be amazing if this was actually a 2011 rookie of Mike Trout. But got to love that. I actually can now say I have a 2011 Mike Trout, even though it is a reprint. But that's awesome. I'm going to put that right there. Got a Tony Perez, George Kell, Hall of Famer, and Edgar Martinez, another Hall of Famer. Love that pack. Wow, now I can now I can say I've got the actual image of the card from the 2011 Mike Trout rookie. That's that's amazing. That is so cool. All right, so we've got Marcus Stroman, Chris Bryant. Jimmy Fox, Chris Sale, Kevin Kiermeyer. There's Mark McGuire turned back the clock when he hit 70 home runs back in 1998. And there's McGuire himself in the 1981 design. We got a rookie card. Who's this? Is this Glaber? 
Miguel Andujar. Hopefully he'll uh, come back after his suspension. Very highly touted rookie. Uh, has a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he stays clean. All right, let's go. We got Dansby Swanson, young shortstop from the Atlanta Braves. Ozzy Albies, there we go. One of my favorite Braves. Going to be a very good player for a very long time. Red, Red Shane Deans, Austin Hedges, Brad Ziegler. Re oh, Reese Hoskins. That's a coming attraction rookie card for Reese Hoskins. Nice card for Reese. There's Jose Altuve. No comment on Jose Altuve. And Ioannis Cespedes when he was with the Mets. All right. Have any of you guys opened these uh, 2018 archives? I don't know if you have. It's a real, like I said, it's a real affordable product. I was surprised to see that the price was under $100 for a hobby box, um, just simply because of who you could pull and the, the value on, obviously, Acuna is going sky high. And uh, if they get back to playing this year, his cards will continue to go up exponentially. There's Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver. Look at that card, a beautiful card. Nicholas Castellano, Tim Anderson, and the Sandlot. We got Hammy, Ham Porter. I just saw a video of him now. I think he's like 50 years old. Uh, he looks exactly the same in the face, um, but uh, obviously brings back a lot of memories watching that movie, Sandlot. Johnny Cueto. Frank Thomas, the big hurt, and Bob Lemon. All right, let's see here. Hammer and Hank. Nice 1959 design for Hank Aaron. Charlie Blackman. Brandon Belt. Looks like we might have another insert for the Sandlot in here. Steven Strasburg. Ricky Henderson. 1977 design on Ricky Henderson. Let's see if this is an autograph. It is. We do have an autograph. Our first auto is Kenny DeNunez. Played by Brandon Adams. So there's our first autograph. Let's sleeve that one up. Nice autograph. And last two, Alex Bregman. And there's the Gla oh Gary. I almost looked like Glaber. <laughs> Oh, I got uh, I got toasted on that one. But no, that's Gary Sanchez. All right. So we've got our first autograph. There's still one autograph to go in this box. And the first card is Jose Urena, Luis Severino, Mike Zanino, Brooks Robinson, Whitey Ford, chairman of the board. There is a rookie Dominic Smith card with Ahmed Rosario, Thomas Nito. And then we've got... Uh, Solarte and uh, Elther. Again, these cards are in beautiful condition. I'm telling you, I love the fact they're nice and thick stock, good quality. There's the bringer of rain, Josh Donaldson. He's now with Minnesota. Boy, Minnesota is going to be loaded. They are going to be hitting home runs like no one's ever seen before. Scott Kingery, Jake Lamb, DJ LeMahieu. When he was with the Rockies, Corey uh, Nabel. There's Alexander Bogarts, Bryce Harper. That's a nice looking card of Bryce in the '81 design, and Eddie Matthews, Hall of Famer Eddie Matthews from the Milwaukee Braves. So one thing I'm noticing, I don't know if you guys have noticed it or not, is there's a lot of buzz on the. Uh, older cards and uh, obviously with the the lack of product and with everyone every with tops shut down and panini shut down um there's not going to be a lot of products that are actually coming out there's a uh, shohei otani's rookie card that's the other rookie that we're looking to get so we got one of the big three love that a uh, big four actually with glaber but shohei otani um but yeah there's going to be um there's going to be a major push for a lot of these older cards are going to be more in demand especially breaking the cards you're going to see a lot of people breaking cases and and boxes of like the junk wax era uh, that's my feeling i really think that that will happen 
So um, tell me what you guys think. Do you think that junk wax is actually going to see a resurgence and more people are going to be interested in cracking open the 80s and 90s boxes? There's Victor Robles. That's his rookie card. That's another nice rookie card for the set, Victor Robles. So we've got Shohei Otani and Robles. Nice card. And the last card in the pack is Patrick Corbin. So, so far we've got Otani and Robles. We've got one of our autographs. We still have one autograph to go. There are some parallels in this set. Like I said, the set is 100 cards. So um, you will get most of the, the set, the base set, completed with a hobby box. I don't think that there will be too many doubles. Nomar Garcia Parra, nice card. Francisco Lindor. There's a Mookie Betts. Coming, oh, there's a Ronald Acuna coming attractions card. Well, that's not the, the base rookie, but that is a rookie card nonetheless. A very nice card. Ronald Acuna is one of his rookie cards. Jan Moncada, Ryan Braun, and Kyle Seeger. All right, we're about uh, halfway done. Jonas Wagner, Wade Davis, Chris Davis, Andrew Stevenson rookie card. Turn back the clock, Mike Piazza. There he is. There's the man right there. Yes, we got him. Ronald Acuna Jr. There we go. What a beautiful card. 1981 design, Ronald Acuna. Love it. All we need now is the Juan Soto. If I can get him sleeved up. There we go. Centered nice, looking nice, good-looking card. All right. Well, we did get Acuna, so, and there we've got Kevin Pillar and Luis Gohara rookie card. So almost halfway done. We still, we still have uh, one more autograph to go. We've got our Acuna. I'm going to put that up right there. Right there. There we go. All right, Michael Conforto, Chris Davis, Hal Newhauser, Barry Larkin, Roger Clemens, D.D. Gregorius, Chance Sisko rookie card, and Ralph Kiner. Remember listening to Ralph Kiner when he uh, was a broadcaster with the New York Mets? Him and Bob Murphy on WOR. Love their call of the games. That was my childhood Memories, loved it, loved it. Joey Gallo, Jordan Hicks, Brian Anderson, Dandy Don Sutton, Enos Slaughter. Wendy Peppercorn from the Sandlot insert. There's Wade Boggs, 1981 design, and a beautiful Roberto Clemente card. Never saw this man play. Took away from us way too soon. Uh, obviously, great player. Beautiful card. All right, halfway done. And right there off the top, look at that. We got him. Juan Soto. Love it. We've got Soto, Acuna, and Otani. Now all we're looking for is Glaber Torres. There he is. Juan Soto. Love it. That one's a little off-center. But still, we got the card, and behind him is Gary Carter, Tyler Mahey, Ender Inciarte. Inciarte. There's a reprint of the Chipper Jones rookie card from 1991. It's a nice card. Trey Mancini, Ordur, and Hunter Renfro. So, all right, so we, uh, so far so good. I cannot be unhappy with this at all. If we got absolutely nothing the rest of the box, I'd be giving it two thumbs up. There's my man, Greg Maddox. I have a personal collection of Maddox. I don't have this card. So um, the greatest pitcher I have ever seen live on TV. Just an amazing talent. Just knew how to pitch. Um, nothing else can be said about him. One of the best ever. There is Glaber on the... 81 Design Rookie Card with Miguel Andujar and Clint Frazier. That's a really nice card. And 
but yeah, Maddox, uh, I lived in Atlanta, saw him pitch a lot in the mid-90s. Um, just so efficient with all of his pitches. He basically just, he didn't overpower batters. He just was smarter than them, and he just knew where to throw um, each pitch. Location was more important to him than anything else. Marcelo Zuna. There's Walker Bueller's coming attraction rookie card. That's a nice card. And we've got Jose Abreu and Buster Posey. Wow, I am really impressed with this set. I really am. I love these cards. All right, we got Evan Longoria, Ryan Sandberg, Schwarber, Tim Beckham, the Beantown Bees, Matt Duffy, Reggie, Reggie Jackson, 1981 design, and Alex Gordon. We're still looking for that second autograph. I hope it is of a player. A lot of times I've heard that the players, um, they're a little more um, of the old school players, uh, not the modern guys that actually will do the signing for this set, but we'll see what we get. Hopefully it's uh, it's someone that we all enjoy and like. So it looks like we have a, we have an insert in there. Austin Meadows, Dallas Keiko, 59 design. Mejia's rookie card. Bruce Suter, Vince Arazi Smith. Oh, and it is a rookie. It's Shannon Stewart. I'm sorry, not a rookie. It's our autograph. Shannon Stewart of the Toronto Blue Jays. Is that numbered? It is not numbered. But still a very nice card. Looks like it was a buyback. Very nice. And we got Rod Carew and Willie Stargell. So that was our second autograph. We got one autograph of um, one of the actors from the Sandlot. And we also got the uh, Shannon Stewart autograph. So Lorenzo Kane. Now we're just looking for Glaber. We're looking for the Glaber Torres, and we've got all the big four. Got a couple more packs left. I think there's like three more after this one. Luke Weaver, Anthony Rendon, Stockus, Carlos Correa. Early win. There we go. We've got another insert for the Sandlot. That's the Jet. We got Reese Hoskins rookie card and Dominic Smith's rookie card. Three more packs to go. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Hope you uh, were as happy as I was to see these uh, rookies come out of this pack. This is exactly what we were looking for. So, cannot be. Uh, there's Clint Fraser's rookie card, 77 design. Coming attractions Ahmed Rosario, Monty Irvin, and Bob Gibson. Three packs to go. So what do you guys think of the proposed idea for MLB playing their season in Arizona? Basically putting the players in a bubble and having them stick around for four and a half months and play as many games as you can to get as much of a season completed. I think they got to do what they have to do. Uh, the players are going to want to get paid. Um and we all want to see baseball. Uh, there's a nice Doc, uh, Dodgers Future Stars with Bueller and Verdugo on it. Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub, Trevor Story, and Max Kepler. All right, we're down to two packs. I'd appreciate comments down below, guys. Also, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me open up, any specific vintage or uh, 80s boxes. I'll be glad to do that for you. Uh, we have another parallel in here. There's Cal Ripken. I have a PC of Cal as well, so I'm going to add that to my personal collection. Albert Pujols. Do you think he's going to get to 700 home runs this year if he doesn't play much this year? he's going to. He might fall a little short, but obviously he goes down as one of the greatest players of all time. Cole Hamels and Aaron Nola. And is that a silver parallel? It is numbered. It's numbered out of 99. Is that 35 of 99? Very nice. Just leave that one up. There we go. Aaron Nola. Very nice. And the last two, Matt Chapman, Russell Martin. All right, one more pack if we can get the Glaber. Let's see if we can get Glaber in here. Won't be disappointed if we don't. But, all right, let's see here. Start out with Adam Duvall. 
Corey Seager, Jorge Polanco, Andrelton Simmons. Walker Bueller's rookie card. That's a nice one. We will definitely take that. Space City standouts for Houston. We've got Mike Soraka's rookie card. He's going to be a really good pitcher. And the last one is a rookie card. It is Brandon Woodruff. So, so that's it, guys. 2018 Topps Archives. Uh, can't complain at all because we have just picked up these two beautiful cards. Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr. We've also got the autograph from Shannon Stewart. And, of course, I can now say I own a 2011 Mike Trout with an asterisk. It's a beautiful card. It's transcendent. It's actually, it goes up there with the 52 mantle, the, uh, the uh, 89 um, Griffey. So I was really happy with this break, guys. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the break. Um, I appreciate all, all that you uh, do and, and give me those comments. And please like the video. But keep an eye out for my next video coming up real soon. I appreciate you guys. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you later.